Hi everyone, I'm Trish and welcome to my women's online Bible study. Today we're covering Deuteronomy chapters 33 and 34. So let's say a short prayer and dive right in. Heavenly Father, please give me clarity to speak and the hearer the ear to hear. Please impart on us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of all your ways that we may walk upright before you. Help us to share your word with others in clarity and in its truth. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So grab your Bibles and turn with me to Deuteronomy 33. I am reading from the New King James Version. Now this is a blessing. In, uh, now <laughs> this is a blessing with which Moses, the man of God, blessed the children of Israel before his death. And he said, the Lord came from Sinai and dawned on them from Seir. He shone forth from Mount Paran, and he came with ten thousands of saints. From his right hand came a fiery law of, for them. Yes, he loves the people. All his saints are in your hand. They sit down at your feet. Everyone receives your words. Moses commanded a law for us, a heritage of the congregation of Jacob. And he was king in uh, Jeshurun. When the leaders of the people were gathered, all the tribes of Israel together, let Reuben live and not die, nor let his men be few. And this he said of Judah, Hear, Lord, the voice of Judah, and bring him to his people. Let his hands be sufficient for him, and may you be a help uh, against his enemies. And of Levi he said, Let your thumbing and your urim be with your holy one, whom you tested at Massa, and with whom you contended at the waters of Meribah, who says of his father and mother, I have not seen them, nor did he acknowledge his brothers or know his own children, for they have observed your word and have kept your covenant. They shall teach Jacob your judgments and Israel your law, and they shall, they shall put incense before you and a whole burnt sacrifice on your altar. Bless his substance, Lord, and accept the work of his hands. Strike the loins of those who rise against him and of those who hate him, that they rise not again. Of Benjamin, he said, the beloved of the Lord shall dwell in safety by him who shelters him all the day long, and he sh shall dwell between his shoulders. And of Joseph, he said, Blessed of the Lord is, is his land, with the precious things of heaven, with the dew, and the deep lying beneath, with the precious fruits of the sun, with the precious fruits of the months, with the best things of the ancient mountains, with the precious things of the everlasting hills, with the precious things of the earth and its fullness, and the favor of him who dwelt in the bush, let the blessing come on the heat on the head of Joseph and on the crown of the head of him who was separate from his brothers. His glory is like a firstborn bull and his horns like the horns of the wild ox. Together with them, he shall push the peoples to the ends of the earth. They are the ten thousands of Ephraim and they are the thousands of Manasseh. And of Zebulun, he said, rejoice Zebulun in your going out and Ishakar in your tents. They shall call the peoples to the mountain there they shall offer sacrifices of righteousness, for they shall partake of the abundance of the seas and of treasures hidden in the, hidden in the sand. And of Gad, he said, Blessed is he who enlarges Gad. He dwells as a lion and tears the arm and the crown of his head. He provided the first part of himself for himself because a lawgiver's portion was reserved there. He came with the heads of the people. He administered the justice of the Lord. His, and his judgments with Israel. And of Dan, he said, Dan is a lion's whelp. He shall leap from Bashan. And of Naphtali, he said, O Naphtali, satisfied with favor and full of the blessing of the Lord. Possess the west and the south. And of Asher, he said, Asher is most blessed of sons. Let him be favored by his brothers and let him dip his foot in oil. Your sandals shall be iron and bronze. As your days, so shall, be, so shall your strength be. There is no one like the God of Jeshurun, who, who rides the heavens to help you, and in his excellency on the clouds. The eternal God is your refuge, and underneath all, and underneath are the everlasting arms. He will thrust out the enemy from before you, and he will say, destroy. Then Israel shall dwell in safety, the fountain of Jacob alone. In a land of grain and new wine, his heavens shall also drop dew, Happy are you, O Israel, who is like you, O people saved by the Lord, the shield of your help, 
and the sword of your majesty. Your enemies shall submit to you and you shall tread down their high places. Deuteronomy uh, 34. Then Moses went up from the plains of Moab to Mount Nebo to the top of Pisgah, which is across from Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land of Gilead as far as Dan, all Naphtali and the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Judah as far as the Western Sea, the south in the plain of the Valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees as far as Zoar. Then the Lord said to, to him, this is the land of which I swore to give Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, saying, I will give it to your descendants. I have caused you to see it with your eyes, but you shall not cross over there. So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord. And he buried him in a valley in the land of Moab, opposite Beth Peor. But no one knows his grave to this day. Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eyes were not dim, nor his natural vigor diminished. And the children of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab 30 days. So the days of weeping and mourning for Moses ended. Now Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom. For Moses had laid his hands on him, so the children of Israel heeded him and did as the Lord had commanded Moses. But since then, there has not arisen in Israel a prophet like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. In all the signs and wonders which the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt before Pharaoh, before all his servants and in all his land, and by all that mighty power and all the great terror which Moses performed in the sight of all Israel. Heavenly Father, bless the reading of your word uh, and let it fill us up until we're able to eat of it again. Uh, if you're just, we're done with the Deuteronomy. So if you're just here uh, for scripture read through, thank you for coming to read through scripture uh, with me. Um, and uh, uh, if you have continued on with me for the first five books of the um, Old Testament, uh, we are done with the writings of Moses, except for that psalm that he writes, um, Psalm 90. Um, uh, so thanks. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming to read through scripture with me. I really appreciate it and hope to see you again next time. <laughs> uh, and if you're here for more in-depth Bible study, stick around and we will dive right in. Okay, we are in those final two chapters of um, Deuteronomy. Uh, earlier, I alluded that um, they were uh, written by Joshua as like a matter of fact, but that is not true. And I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, that is um, a view held. Some people believe that Joshua wrote the end of Moses and as well as the book of Joshua. And uh, some people believe that a later historian, a Jewish unnamed historian, uh, wrote the details of uh, the ending chapter of Moses um, along with um, Joshua. I'm so used to, in my mind, thinking that it is just written by Joshua, but that is not a matter of fact thing. Okay, so uh, with that said, uh, 33 covers Moses' final blessing to the uh, children of Israel. He blesses every tribe with the exception of Simeon and um, maybe it's perhaps... Uh, because uh, in, okay, so it's in Genesis 49 and 7, in Jacob's blessing, when Jacob blesses his children, he said that um, uh, Simeon will be scattered throughout Israel. So, um, so yeah, that is a strong, strong, strong theory on why uh, Simeon is possibly not named here as a, as a blessing uh, in the tribes because his tribe is spread out throughout the other tribes. Okay, so then moving on to the final chapter, and it is uh, 34 with uh, Moses' death, which is sad because the uh, uh, the writer alludes that there is no other man like Moses, like uh, no other prophet like uh, Moses. He was 120 years old. His eyes weren't dim. Um, he was in great shape, but he did have to pass away. Uh, he was buried by the hand um, because of what he did. Um, uh, at the Mount, uh, I'm sorry, no, the, uh, the waters, uh, I forgot the name of the waters. <laughs> I'm having a, a brain freeze. Sorry. <laughs> Meribah. I think that's it. <laughs> it's Meribah. Uh, uh, he wasn't allowed to enter in, um, of the, in, of the, into the land of Canaan. Sorry. Uh, that, uh, the Lord, um, promised the children of Israel. So let's just go over um, uh, the uh, Moses in honor of his death here. Uh, his books, um, Genesis, he wrote uh, uh, 
because they spent 40 years in the desert. And he, so he's hearing the word of the Lord. So the Lord is giving Moses this information and he is writing how the beginning took place. Um, and you find out the Abraham blessing and uh, God's plan um, throughout uh, history from that first uh, apple bite in the, or fruit, it doesn't say apple, um, uh, the, the bite of the forbidden fruit that sin entered and we all have to die because of it. Um, and uh, the fulfillment that we will finally come to in Jesus Christ when we get to the New Testament. I'm already there, but if you're going through um, in order, um, just re going through the Bible, then we're just here in Deuteronomy. Um, and so um, he, he, God continues, he blesses uh, Abraham's uh, seed with Isaac, and then um, Isaac uh, has uh, t uh, twins, um, and then Jacob's seed is blessed, and he has the 12 tribes, and then Joseph, uh, br brothers, his, uh, those uh, 11 brothers of his, well, no, 10, because his other brother, Benjamin, didn't portray him because they had the same uh, parents, they because they were half siblings, a lot of them, uh, but, but Joseph, jo Joseph and um, Benjamin were whole siblings. And so um, Benjamin didn't have anything to do with the betrayal. So he uh, is betrayed and sent into slavery. And it just happens to be a blessing from the Lord. And the, he, they, um, uh, he's, he's blessed in the land. And um, he's able to save the, um, the people from famine. Uh, for seven years. Uh, it was a heavy famine in the land. I'm still in Genesis in my recap, uh, but I'm going to speak this up. <laughs> Don't worry. And um, after uh, after the uh, 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 he, 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 uh, his brothers, um, they are reunited through providence of God and um, he moves his entire family to Egypt. And that is where they dwell at the end of uh, Genesis. Then we get to Exodus. And Moses is born, um, but at this point in time, where he, uh, but when he was born, there was a hit out on all of the Hebrew children because the Pharaoh at that time uh, didn't want them to rise above them. So he forcefully enslaved them. He forgot all about Joseph and all the wonders that he did. Um, and uh, he, um, he has all the male children firstborn killed. Uh, but Moses' mother uh, didn't want him to die, so she hid him away. And then after she couldn't hide him anymore, she put him into this ark and set him adrift. Uh, his sister Mary, uh, Miriam looks along, and uh, just so happens that the Pharaoh daughter finds Moses, and she raises him up in Egypt. So he's there for 40 years before he uh, sees a Egyptian beating a Hebrew slave, because he knows uh, where he is from. And... Um, he rises up and he kills him. It was made known, so he flees to the wilderness where he spent his second 40 years. He has a couple kids. He gets, he gets married and has a couple kids. Let's say it in the right order. <laughs> and um, and then uh, he uh, the Lord appears to him. He's 80 years old. He sends him back to Egypt to free the people. Uh, Moses goes and does such a thing, and all these mighty works are done, and God begins to make a name for himself upon uh the earth uh, using this nation it would be a holy nation upon all the uh, uh, nations of the world and that's where we get the remaining books um, Genesis uh, Exodus Leviticus numbers and Deuteronomy <laughs> where they're uh, given the law uh, Moses spends those 40 years in the wilderness because these people are rebellious and every time anything goes wrong their answer is we need to go back 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 the Lord has brought us out here to die um, but the Lord did it, as we can see. He is going to bless them and um, bring them into the land. But that generation has to die in the wilderness. And Moses, um, uh, is, this is it. This is it. Uh, we're here at the death of Moses. Uh, Moses um, uh, puts Joshua in charge. Uh, Joshua's name was Hoshea. Hoshea. Uh, but Moses changed it to Joshua. Um, that is in where is that? I wrote it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Numbers. Numbers 13 and 16, where he changes his name. Um, and uh, the next book that we get to is Joshua, and it is titled after um, that. So I just wanted to give that uh, homage to uh, Moses because he uh, makes an appearance on the Transfiguration. Um, Moses and Elijah are there. So um, that um, 
God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. Um, and uh, this is a look for us forward to the uh, life in the resurrection um, because Moses is um, definitely alive. He is not dead. <laughs> uh, so I was uh, blabbing on a bit too much. So I'm just going to wrap this up. Uh, possession is given to Joshua to take the children into the uh, land. And uh, uh, Moses had that panoramic view of the land. He got to see everything. He goes up on the mountain. He dies. The Lord buries him. No one knows where he is buried to this day, <laughs> uh, but he's alive. Um, and uh, uh, the people mourn for Moses for 30 days. And that's it. Thank you for coming to read through study scripture with me. I really appreciate it. I hope it's a means of blessing to you as it is to me. And I hope to see you again next time. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and bring you peace both now and forever. Bye.